Hey guys, how's it going? This is Cholera. I'm bringing you an audio commentary of the OSL finals between Reach and Boxer way back in 2002. And uh, this is a Sky 2 OSL finals. And of course, this game is part of my series of Blast from the Past. And I decided to commentate on this because Box Boxer and Reach are some of my favorite players, some of everyone's favorite players. Uh, Slayer's Boxer, of course, the Terran Emperor, known for redefining StarCraft in every generation. And he's on the right here, and uh, Oops, Reach is on the left. And Reach, uh, you probably heard of him if you watched Pro Gaming, is uh, still around. He's a very strong, aggressive Protoss player, uh, nicknamed the Mantoss. He's very unafraid of rushing with Zealots only, even though sometimes uh, players nowadays choose tech first. Uh, he's just known for his, his overall aggression, his very good micro play. So this should be a very exciting matchup. Uh, Boxer's already going for his third OSL title here. Uh, he already has two in his belt, and Reach is going for his first. And the first map they're going to be playing is Gamma Goen. Um, I took a look at it, and I guess the map it reminds me most of is Luna. Uh, you have four spawn locations, and um, each of them is connected to a natural. And uh, all these bases are connected to a large open area in the middle for combat. And we have uh, Reach here at 1 o'clock in yellow. Looking very stylish there. Uh, <laughs> I like these suits from, uh, from back in the day. And this is Boxer in red. Uh, both these guys look so young. And uh, I guess back in those days, um, the Pro League players all, all wore flashier uniforms. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking for anything here. This is pretty early in the evolution of uh, Pro Gaming StarCraft. Um, just, just you know, to give you a, an idea of um, how different it was back then, the fourth place finisher in the OSL was actually a foreigner. It was Elki from France. And uh, while no offense to the foreigner players nowadays, it would be very hard for any of them to get to a final four position in uh, a Korean pro gaming map, uh, pro gaming league. And uh, there, there we see the map. Um, four spawn locations. And uh, like I said, we can expect anything here. It might not be the standard. Uh, you know, Dragoon versus Factory Units, it could be anything. Um, you know, recently we've been seeing Protoss players now in 2008 going for Carriers early, uh, but you know, it could be anything, it could be Arbiters here, Dark Templar, who knows. So I'm, I haven't watched these uh, games before, I do know the results of the overall series, so I'm, uh, I'm definitely excited about this series. Um, it looks like Boxer's uh, deciding to wall in here, or at least get a partial wall in. We'll see if he decides to put down a Supply Depot here. Uh, looks like he did um, I put out another supply depot so that uh, he can he can wall off completely from zealots. And Boxer uh, looks like Boxer hasn't sent out a scouting SCB yet, but Reach has just done it uh, first off. He he scouted Boxer perfectly, um, and he's getting his gas and a early uh, gateway. Uh, you know, being th this game being so long ago, I'm wondering if the same sort of build orders that we see nowadays are still were still the the most popular back then. You know, we see nowadays a lot of uh, PVT matches uh, where both players will go in fast expand, and you really need this uh, economic edge to be able to face uh, player other players. Obviously, your opponents are fast expanding. But since this was so long ago, uh, we might be seeing different strategies. We might be seeing more one-base strategies, more rush strategies. And also, the maps back then were probably slightly less, uh, slightly less conducive to, um, to fast expanding. And we see that uh, Reach is, is putting down a cybernetics core there and his second pylon. So we might be seeing some early tech or some early dragoons there. And uh, Box is finally moving out with his SCV. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I think that getting natural expansions is a lot easier in a lot of the modern maps. You know, maps like Katrina or Loki 2, where you have uh, so much more resources. And I feel that these uh, older maps might be more conducive to a low resource game, where uh, both players stick with one base and then expand later. And it seems that um, so far we haven't seen any attempts to expand by either player. S uh, an SCV for Boxer going off to the upper left, but I think that's just a scouting SCV. And it looks like range upgrades going up for Reach. We'll see if he decides to go an all Dragoon Rush here. I haven't seen a Zealot yet in his base. And uh, for that matter, I don't see any Marines in uh, Boxer's base. Maybe there was one. Um, and it looks like uh, that's another gateway going up for Reach. Yeah, there is one Marine, and he, uh, Boxer is getting his uh, machine shop, so expecting to see a tank out to uh, anticipate uh, the, the Dragoon push. And we'll see uh, once again if. Um, if Reach decides to go immediately and sort of follow his Mantos style, just uh, 
uh, of keeping pressure on the opponent throughout the entire game. And uh, another thing, of course, I'm looking for is uh, something creative from Boxer, some creative drop or um, uh, some just, just diversion plays, things that he's very well known for. Uh, definitely looking for that, maybe some hidden tech. Um, or if, uh, you know, Boxer, of course, respects reach, so maybe he's just going to go for a more standard play to start with. And there you see Boxer uh, probably getting his first tank out. And, uh, yeah, the hope you've been uh, watching some of my other series so far. I've been, uh, and there's a command center going up for Boxer. I've been uh, doing two Savior series prior to this, and uh, I plan on just diversifying the players I, I comment on, all races and uh, really all generations of the StarCraft history. And we have a uh, Dragoon wandering out for Reach. We'll see if he decides to put some pressure on the front door there. I don't think that uh, he's going to be able to do too much, though. Uh, Boxer's going to have his tank out fairly soon. Uh, Reach does have three Dragoons moving over. And there's Boxer's uh, tank. So. Uh, we'll see if when Boxer gets Siege Mode, if he decides to uh, push out and get his expansion. And Reach going up here with uh, one Dragoon. It seems that Boxer's not using his tank yet. Uh, now, now Boxer is. And he's going to push uh, these Dragoons back. And we'll see if Boxer, uh, I'm sorry, if Reach decides to go for an expansion now. Um, otherwise, he is going to fall a little bit behind economically. And we see an engineering bay going up for Boxer. Maybe a little worried about a drop or uh, some DTs. And uh, he could be right about worrying about DTs. We see a Citadel going up for Reach. Uh, could be going for a, a Temporal or Archives. And um, three Dragoons just uh, hanging out there, uh, setting up a little bit of a contained. But Boxer is going to be able to push out if he wants. Boxer's got a good force here. Um, I'm not sure what Reach is doing. Uh, if Reach went for an expansion also. Um, the Boxer's got three tanks and three Marines, and he's going to be able to push those Dragoons back and, uh, and go all the way to reach his base if he doesn't bring any reinforcements up. But I think Boxer, Boxer here is just uh, satisfied to push him off of his natural expansion, and he's going to retreat these tanks. And uh, Reach hasn't gone for his natural yet, it's a little surprising. Uh, but then again, um, I'm used to more of these modern games where the build orders seem to be very different from they were, what they were back then. Um, and, you know, like I said, this is not um, to the discredit of the old players back then. I think a lot of it has to do with map structure and uh, just knowing your opponents, what generally everyone's doing, uh, not because they hadn't discovered early expansions yet or whatnot. I think a lot has to do with the, the, the sort of um, a tit and tat, uh, you know, I know what you know kind of strategy that, that these players are employing. And uh, if neither of them fast expand, uh, that's fine too. Neither will have uh, an economic advantage. So both of them going for an expansion now, but Boxer's going to be a little bit ahead. He did get his command center done, and he's going to be mining, which is a, a big problem for Protoss. You really don't want to be behind the Terran in expansions. And Boxer has five tanks here and uh, a turret, so we'll see what Reach can do with his, uh, his DTs if he decides to go DTs. Uh, Reach has got some zealots out. Maybe he's, he's wanting to push in and takes out some tanks, but I don't think that's going to be uh, very successful. Um, and he's getting a robotics facility, so it seems that uh, I don't see a Templar archives. It seems that Reach is just going for a drop here, or I'm sorry, not for a drop, a reaver drop, um, and some speed lots. That's what I was going to say, um, and, and just go for a, a, a straight up push into a Boxer's main, um, or, or just to hold uh, an expansion here. And we see Reach coming back. Yeah, the, I didn't know this Reach existed behind. Um, the, uh, the expansion. Uh, I really haven't played this map before, but it looks like there is a back path to get into the tank line here, and Reach is sending some zealots in, but his tank isn't very well coordinated. Now he's bringing troops in from both sides. Let's see if he manages to coordinate these tanks, and uh, he, he does take one tank out, and two tanks out, three tanks out. Wow. Boxer doesn't have a lot of supporting units. That's one thing I know is Boxer did not produce vultures, so those zealots are able to get in very close, and only a Boxer, to, only a bunker to stop um uh, reaches attack here, and um, Boxer's in a good amount of trouble. Uh, he's still got uh, four Dragoons in his expansion here, and he needs to get Tank out uh, on the ridge, uh, sieged up. Um, I, I don't know why Boxer decided not to make any Vultures. Perhaps he was just uh, uh, not expecting those Zealots to come so quickly. He was expecting an all-Dragoon force or something. And so now he's in big trouble. Uh, he only has SCVs defending here. And Boxer went Academy! And this